What's going on guys, it's Osas from Samsung Galaxy S3 Softmodder and on today I'm just going to be showing you how to get a tinted status bar on your S3. So as you can see right now I'm in Pandora and my status bar is green. I can change that color to whatever color I want. All I'm going to need is of course a rooted Galaxy S3 and the exposed mainframe. So both of those, the exposed framework. So both of those you can check out we have links to in the full tutorial. It's super easy, not intimidating at all. And then once you have a rooted phone, and of course the um, exposed framework, we are going to go to the exposed installer and then download the module called Tinted Status Bar. So all we have to do, we just jump into the installer. We go to download, and then we search. You can search right here, just clicking on the search button, and of course searching for Tinted Status Bar. But as you can see, it's right here. It's in beta, but it's it's perfectly fine. We're going to scroll down, and then we're going to download the latest version, which is 1.7.2. We download that, and then we install that. And then we go back here, and we're going to make sure that it's actually enabled. So we go to the modules, and we make sure that it's checked. So we check that box, and then we can either go to Framework and reboot the device here, soft reboot or reboot, it doesn't matter. Or you can just restart your device by, of course, holding the power button. Now once it's rebooted and restarted, you can start using the app. So let's go, just go to apps, and then tinted status bar, which is right here. And um, here you can change the default status. So my default status bar is obviously this color or black. You can change that by just tapping here, and then using the color wheel, or entering the hex code if you know it, or you can look online for the hex code of the color that you want. And then you just hit apply, and it'll change us. So this is for the default. Now if you want to change individual apps, we're just going to go back, go back again, and here is your list of all the apps that you can change and where in the app um, the status bar can also change. So like I showed you in the beginning, Pandora, I'll just go back there and then I'll show you. Here, there's a, a big list and it's different places where the status bar can change. So if you're in the main home page, it can be one color. If you're in the now playing list, it can be another color. If you're in the inactivity section, it can be another color. But to keep it simple, I usually do now playing because that's the screen that I'm looking at the most. Because obviously when my music is playing, it's in the now playing section. So as you can see, it's green right now. All I have to do is tap on that. It says status bar tint. And I can change that tint to whatever I like. You can change the saturation and the value, opacity, etc. Um, so you can you just hit preview, it'll preview that up top, and then you can just hit apply. So I'll just go with purple for now, why not? You can also change the status bar icons, I have it at just gray, you can change it to, of course, any color you want. And then nav, nav bar and nav bar icons. So now that's purple, I'll just show you what that looks like. I'll go back, we'll go find the Pandora app, which is right here. We'll tap on that, and you can see that the status bar is now purple. So of course I can just go back and change it back and forth, back and forth as many times as I want. And also, just without changing anything, if you just downloaded the app and installed it and didn't do any of your own customization, um, it by default automatically tries to blend your apps to your status bar. So if we go to the Google Play Store, which is here, you'll see that it's gray, now my status bar is gray. If I go to the games or apps, it's green, status bar is green. If I go back, newsstand, blue, now it's blue. So it just makes it look a little sleeker and a little cleaner, and you don't have to do any work for that. So it's called Tinted Status Bar. It's an exposed module. It's, of course, free. All you need is the framework and, of course, a rooted phone. So just make sure to check out the full tutorial for more information on that and a whole bunch of screenshots and more information on the exposed module itself. And also make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys.